All right, guys, looking for another home game. The uh, atmosphere has been tremendous in the stadium. Um, hopefully the fans will come out and be loud again. That was a big help last, last week against San Diego. What uh, allowed your pass rush to be so effective on Thursday? I, I just think the, uh, the rush and the coverage element kind of, it always works hand in hand. I think we did a really good job both areas. Um, guys play with a lot of energy. We got, we got them in some good uh, situations to rush, really, first and foremost. And then, you know, at the end of the game, you're looking to close out the game. I think it's like the third game we've been on defense. We've closed the game out uh, once in Chicago, really Indianapolis, uh, Detroit, and really that game. So it's good to see. How, uh, how would you guys handle the, the nickel, uh, or the slot corner job if LaMarcus isn't able to go this week? Yeah, uh, Nevin Lawson's been playing in there. Daryl can play. So we'll have multiple guys in there. So we, we train those guys to play all, you know, inside and outside, so it's not, it shouldn't be even much of an issue. Yeah. Looking progressively to get him more, just to, yep. get, just to even, I know your situation is yep. going to require, but just to get a look at him. Yeah, with some of the guys we have down, he's going to have to come in and play some more. So uh, obviously we were able to get him in there at the end of the game. Uh, guys were getting worn out a little bit at the end, so we put him in there, and he, he did a good job for us. Your first impression of Deion Jordan? He's a good-looking rascal. This guy is uh, big, long. Um, you know, he's he's getting into football shape. He's he should really help us out. Um, he's real smart. He's picked up the playbook quick. So um, he's been in there uh, working in, with the first team on some of the stuff today. So he's uh, he's been impressive. Today was more of a get after it day, I guess, than than yesterday. The way Gruden described it, they used Wednesday as kind of a setup day. So how did how did Jordan look today, and when you really got after it? More? Yeah, we you know we basically get a lot of reps on Wednesday, a slower slower teaching tempo, and then Thursday we really ramp it up uh, with some different uh, situations, first and second down, third down. So uh, we were able to rush one on ones today, which was good for him. He's done good. He's a smart guy. He's been in in, uh, in the system, kind of, you know, uh, coming from Arizona. Vance Joseph is the defensive coordinator there. Uh, he was my secondary coach when I was in Cincinnati, so he's used kind of the same terminology. So when, when we got him here, I was like, hey, this is this coverage, this is that coverage, and he shook his head, yeah, I got it. So that was that was helpful. And he's a smart guy to begin with, so uh, he's picked it up real good. Do you anticipate that he may play this week? I do. All hands on deck this week with the guys we got. How's up? The uh, quarterback look and the and the offense with Zach Taylor as opposed to what you were, you've seen in past years when they Cincinnati. Um, the quarterback, you know, we had him at the Senior Bowl. He was impressive there. You know, he did a, a pretty good job there against Baltimore. So, you know, he's he's made some good throws under duress. He can move around the pocket some. Um, he can check some stuff at the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. They got a good team over there. I don't I don't care what their record says. Nixon's coming off a pretty good game yep. after after a slow start, and, and and Gordon did get you a little last week for your run game, more yep. than has been earlier this year. Was there any, an issue there that you saw? Uh, that... Different team, different setup, really, that San Diego than, say, Cincinnati, I think. Um, so, you know, it's just, we just got to gotta do a good job of stopping a run. He's one of their big biggest weapons on offense, so we got to be aware of where he's at when he's in the game and, and just handle the, you know, the both of the runs and some of the play-action passes that they have. Lot, but was there anything from Thursday's game and Thursday's production that he can build upon or anything special or unique about that one? Yeah, he needs to keep it going. Um, coach just got done saying, you know, when Michael Jordan's hot, you got to get him the ball. And he's, you know, he's got he's coming off his best game. I really think the light came on for him in the second half of the Detroit game. And then walking off the field with him, I'm like, I think the light just went on, came on for you, really. And then he went out against uh, against the Chargers and played really good. So hopefully he can keep playing at a high level, and we can have the wave of guys that we've had. That's that was really uh, impressive the other night with those guys. What was it that made you think that the light maybe came out of the second half? Uh, you can just tell with the look in the guy's eyes. You know, he, when he starts making plays, you can start saying, "Hey, I'm starting to figure this out." And um, you, it's the look in the in the, in the guy's eyes and his, the way he's handled himself and. Um, and you know he came out the other night and played really good, so hopefully he can, he can keep that up. I feel like the last two games he was playing a majority outside, whereas earlier he was shifting inside a little yeah. bit. Was that a decision that you guys made? Um, well, with Arden down, you know he, he went outside some, and you know we, we had four ends up, so we were just rolling them through, kept keeping those guys fresh. And you know we got to do a good job on first and second down to get them them at bats on third down. So hopefully we can continue to do that. It's, 
not it's been at a lot of different um, position groups but bringing guys in mid-season or even after we've turned in the, the uh, halfway point yep. in terms of uh, position coaches to get these guys ready like how much extra time is involved to try to get these guys ready as fast as possible and get them competent in your system more, more than you think you know when you really look at the, the first game you had Joseph and Abram as the safeties and you had Conley and Worley as the corners you had Burfick as the Mike linebacker Arden Key is in there in the end so we've had a lot of guys at all three different levels that we had to get come in and bring in and get ready to play so uh, you know you, you got you know safeties you got Compton you got Deion Jordan coming in here so it's uh it, you know the, the coaches have done a tremendous job getting these guys ready to play getting them to understand how we do it the technique the footwork all that stuff not just the call and hey this is where I go but how to do it the right way um, so that you know the coaches deserve a lot of credit for that Jordan playing on Sunday? Absolutely. I think he's, it's a very good chance he makes his Raider debut.